get started. Let me share my screen and there's some people still hopping on. I just got a few messages of people going to be late um, or watching the recording. So we're just going to get going. Um, first off, I want it. You guys can see my screen, right? I always feel like no one can see it. Okay, cool. And if you can have your video on, I appreciate that. Um, welcome to the Hustle and Heart team call. It is, what day is it? It is April, Tuesday, April 9th. Um, I'm like all off because normally our calls are on Mondays. Um, it is Tuesday, April 9th. And we always have the goal of Success Club 5 by the 5th and 10 by the 10th. So I do want to just shout out the girls that are up here on the board already. Um, I actually hit success of 10 today and then Kara is at 10 and then Taryn two and Griselda too. So um, it's a little empty right now, but it's still the beginning of the month. So we have plenty of time to get all of your guys' faces up there and change some more lives this month. Um, March ended up being a pretty good month for our team and we helped a lot of people. So I know we have a goal of almost doubling that again this month. So um, let's try to make help everyone get into Success Club by tomorrow, by the 10th. That way you're not stressing out. Five, get in Success Club 5 by tomorrow and then keep pushing and 10 by the 15th and then you are not going to be stressed and scrambling at the end of the month. So um, a couple headlines, obviously the 21 day fix live workouts are out as well as ultimate portion fix. So hopefully you're still talking about that. I'm still recruiting to that every single day. And we do have that team wide um, fabulous foodies group for anyone that does join and get an ultimate portion fix pack. You're welcome to invite them to that group if you um, don't have one. Um, so that is posted in the team page and we are doing 21 day fix right now. And then after, when the 21 day fix extreme comes out, we will be doing that as well. Um, and it is still on sale. So make sure that you're talking to people about that. It's 160 for the UPF challenge pack with Shaco. And then they just opened up um, the UPF with the performance line as well. So now that's an option. And then they can get bod for only $40 more, which is insane right now because that never happens. So $200 to get ultimate portion fix forever, Shaco and bod for a year, which is crazy. So um, all that's in my, in my conversation guide that you guys have access to, which is also in the files of the team page. So everything is in there for you. Um, Coach Summit, hopefully you got your ticket while it was on sale. Um, I know a bunch of you guys on here are going and I'm like so excited. I like want to pee my pants because sometimes some of you guys is my first time like meeting you and I'm just so excited. Um, and it's like the most amazing event ever. So if you haven't got your ticket yet, um, don't wait any longer and go get it. We have some a couple different housing situations going on. So if you're still looking for a place, um, there is a file in the team page and you can put it on there and we can make sure you have somewhere to stay with people. Um, we also have an event in the team page to so make sure you've RSVP'd so that you get an invite. Um, we have space for you at the team. We're going to have a team party while we're there. And then um, this weekend is actually super weekend, which is like a basically almost like a little mini summit that happens quarterly all over the country so wherever you are find the nearest summit of, or the nearest super saturday to you um i know sydney and i are going over to the west side to taquilla and we're going to go to super saturday it's on actually on sunday over there so find the one closest to you it's really fun that's where you get to hear like the new announcements that are happening um you get to meet up meet other local coaches you get to do a workout sometimes there's guests there like Ilana is coming to ours which is really cool so we'll get to see her so make sure you find where yours is and get your butt there um and then I wanted to talk about at summit we will have a um VIP diamond cocktail party so we'll have a deep team-wide party but then we will also have a VIP cocktail party for anyone that on the in the downline that is a diamond coach I will be hosting a cocktail party and um, taking you guys out for drinks. So, um, whatever recognition that you want to be recognized at summit, um, if you're pushing diamond or above, you need to 
rank advance by May 2nd. So like write that date down somewhere, figure out what your goal is, what do you wanna be recognized as, and then reverse engineer it and figure out what you need to do to get there. And if you have questions about it, let me know, but May 2nd is that date you need to be whatever goal, if you want diamond, one star, two star, and hold it for six weeks so that you can be recognized at, at summit walk on stage, get recognized at whatever rank you want to be recognized at and get to the diamond cocktail party, which is going to be a blast. Um, since we do have so many of you guys pushing for diamond, like our team is pushing for a really big goal right now of ending the year as a superstar diamond team, which is a big push. So we need everyone to make it happen. And all of you guys that are pushing for diamond. Diamond is like the starting point of your business, and it's really not a hard thing that people make complicated. It's just eight people. It's going emerald over and over again, and tonight, Taylor's going to talk to us about how to build your team, um, but you don't even need to really have a team to get to Diamond. Like You can build it on discount coaches, so um, all it is is going emerald over and over. So what we're doing is I'm super, super, super excited about this. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So we are hosting a diamond push group from April 22nd to May 22nd. And this is going to be led by me and five other elite coaches, which is the top 0.01% of the company. So these are like top, top coaches that we're leading this group for you guys. Um, there is a some requirements to participate. You do need to be a paid Emerald no later than Thursday 418, which is coming up. So make sure you have that in your calendar and you make sure that you are a paid Emerald by that date and that you have at least two success club points on the board. So you've helped at least one person this month. So as long as you're paid Emerald and have helped at least one person this month, then you pay $25 to join the group, but that money goes into a pot. And at the end of the group, anyone who rank advances. So if you hit, you get to diamond during this group, then you get um, a chunk of that pot and people win up. Like I've seen people win up to 200, 300, 400, $500 from these just for going diamond. So you a don't want to miss out on this because the last group that we we ran with this format we had 12 girls pop diamond from it so you want to get your butt in this group and be led by these incredible leaders that know what they're doing and have seen massive success in their business and get you to diamond so that you can be recognized at summit you can really kick off your business start growing more income start building a team all of the things so make sure you have that on your radar. And once you are at Emerald and have SC points on the board, let me know. And in the, the, it's in the announcements of the team page where you email your $25 PayPal so that we, you can get into the group. Um, okay. Last thing, I just want to quick recognize our success starters. Paige, way to go, girl. Success starter for month one. This is a really big deal, you guys. Like Success starters is one of the best ways to show that someone is having success in this business because it means that they're changing at least three lives a month, which is our job as a coach. And by hitting that in your first three months, that's how you earn your free ticket to coach summit. So she has two more months and she's going to earn the one for to summit summit ticket next year. And then I want to shout out Aliyah who hit month three, which is amazing. That means she's hit success club her first three months in a row. She earned her free ticket to summit this year and a bonus from me. So way to go girls. Super, super proud of you. And, um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen now and I'm going to hand it over to Taylor in a second, but I just kind of want to introduce her. If you don't know her, um, she is an incredible rock star and just like an amazing human being. We connected and just, we just chat all the time about like tall girl stuff and just random stuff. But um, I just love her passion. I love how driven she is. She's actually pregnant right now and she has the like, cutest baby belly. It's ridiculous. She has like six pack abs in there. I'm like, okay, goals. Um, but she is just a rock star as well. She has come in to this and had a lot of success because she's worked really hard and she's built an incredible team of leaders as well that are also seeing success in their business, which I know like that's the fun part about coaching. The fun part is having a team and a team of 
your people and leaders and people that are growing and succeeding beside you and with you. So um, tonight, Taylor is going to share with us how to recruit, how to build a team, how to get working coaches and all the things. And I know you guys had some questions. And so I, she also said she'll open it up for some Q and a, um, but I'm going to hand it over to her and you can go ahead and get started girl. Oh wait, you're muted. Can you hear me now? Cool. Okay. Hey guys, I am super excited to be talking with you guys tonight. Um, for those of you who don't know me, probably don't know me at all, but I talk really fast, I have a lot of energy, and I'm kind of like non-conventional when it comes to doing team calls because if I do slides or something on the computer, it gives me really big anxiety and I speed through it, and then you guys don't get anything from it. So <laughs> I never have slides, I kind of just speak from the heart, I speak from what I want to talk about, and then we do kind of questions and answers afterwards. So if you guys hear something um, that you have a question about, feel free to start putting it in the chat, um, and we can go over it afterwards. Like I said, I'll do a live Q&A, but I wanted to talk to you guys today about building a team and kind of how that, how all the different pieces that go into that, okay? So when it comes to building your team, there are three ways that you can do that. And apparently you guys have a massive, massive goal um, of being a superstar diving team this year, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I know you guys finished your week last year, which is amazing. So superstar is like right up next in line. So I know you guys can do it. Um, and that first step, like as you said, is to become a diving coach. So um, when it comes to building your team, there are three kind of pieces that you can look at when you're looking at coaches and you have your discount coaches, you have your hobby coaches and you have working coaches. Every single piece of that puzzle plays a huge role in your business and you don't want to discount any piece of the puzzle. You don't want to focus just on one or just on the other. You need a happy balance of all three of those pieces to really run a successful business. And honestly, you kind of having a happy balance between all those three things makes your life a lot easier because it takes a lot of stress off of you. So let's talk about the first one. First one would be discount coaches, okay? And most of the time, you're not going to just randomly approach somebody on social media and just be like, hey, you wanna be a discount coach? Like, that's not how it goes. Nine times out of 10, these are going to be your challengers that you have already been working with. Back in the past, for those of you who are brand new coaches, these might not be news to you, you might not even know this, but um, if you're a veteran coach or you've been around a while, you know that in the past, we actually used to offer a 10% discount to anyone who was um, so if you're discount coach, they were saving 10% every month, which made their shakeology $117. And if you're a discount coach, you're paying $115 by the time you pay your coach fee and your shakeology, even though you get that discount. So it's kind of hard as a pain for them to you know, go through you know the waiver to get their $40 back or to sign up for a new challenge pack completely. It was a hassle and it wasn't really, I say, worth it. It was a lot harder to do. We don't have that option anymore. So you need to really capitalize on the fact that you can be saving your challengers money every single month. There's not one person on the face of the planet that I know that would rather just throw $15 out in the middle of the road and walk past it, right? Every single month, do you think someone would just be like 10, 15 and just leave it? Or if they just saw $15, they would have picked it up? Like, absolutely not. So the difference for your challengers, if you're focusing just on a discount would be saving them a minimum of $15 a month, not counting any other thing they're going to be ordering. So if you take advantage of that, that's something that can be very beneficial for them. But again, these are going to be people that you're already working with. And so how I kind of do this is in my challenge groups, I call it a VIP program because again, discount coach, that work can be very scary, can be very intimidating, and can be a big turnoff. So a lot of people, they're like, no, I don't want anything to do with that. Something coach, no, that's not me. It's, it's scary. It's what I call it the VIP program. How many of you guys have a Costco membership or an Amazon Prime membership or something like that? Then I treat it like nothing different than that. <laughs> it's a VIP membership to get extra access to fun things, right? So what I do is I make a graphic and you guys can make a graphic. You'll probably, you'll probably have a team graphic if you don't have one already. Um, and it makes it super simple. So what I do is I put this up in my challenge group and I give people option, right? You can become a VIP member, and on one side, I put instant access, right? They get instant access to 29% off every single Beachbody program, every single Beachbody supplement, all of our clothes, all of our equipment, everything. They get 
25% off at Lululemon. I put all the exciting stuff that's not very intimidating on the instant access side. They get instant access to five live workouts a year. A lot of people that sign up as just a challenger and just fall in love with the workouts, fall in love with the super trainers, and it's actually like huge for them to be able to work out live with a super trainer. My mentor, the only reason she went to Summit her first year as a coach, she was a discount coach, and she actually went to Summit just to work out with Shanti. Like she paid for some to take it just to do that because it was that important to her. And there are people out there like And so knowing that they have five options throughout the year to work out live with a super trainer is pretty freaking cool. So you've got your four super Saturdays and summit. So that's five options for them to work out live with the people that have potentially changed their life, right? I also let them know that they have instant access to upcoming information that no one else knows yet because this is all true. As a coach, you get your coach insider emails, you get everything ahead of time before the general public does, right? All the fun stuff, all the non-scary stuff. On the other side of the graphic, I put that you can have optional access, right? So let them know you don't have to do this, but it's there if you want to take advantage. And that's why I started to like breadcrumb the coaching opportunity in a way <laughs> that isn't scary, right? You have optional access to helping other people achieve what you have achieved, helping your friends work out with you, paying for your supplements every month, earning a little extra cash for whatever, I don't know, whatever you want to spend it on, <laughs> um, and earning free paid trips for two to tropical places. And I kind of just leave it at that. A lot of times that sparks a lot of interest. It's not intimidating. So most of the time they just see the instant access stuff, say that's cool. That's worth the 15 bucks a month. I'm still saving 15 bucks. I'm going to do that. But then they see this and it kind of just really sparks a thought. And then we'll talk a little bit more about this later. But I think I'm going to start watching really often sort of talk about why social media presence is really important later. <laughs> um, so that's kind of how you address your discount coach. So that's how I address my discount coaches. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. So next would be hobby coaches. So these are going to come from two different places, right? These are going to be the people who kind of just dabble um, on your team. And again, they're going to be people that play an important role, just like discount coaches play an important role because they're going to be active sometimes. They're going to be active not sometimes, but that's okay because they still play a part. When they're active, that's amazing. And when they're not, it's okay because odds are they're probably still working out. They're probably still reaching their goals. And that's why you signed up as a coach. You didn't sign up to sign up a bunch of coaches, right? How many of you heard about the opportunity and that was what drew you to the opportunity? You saw an ad on Facebook or something that said, hey, build a business, helping other people build a business. Probably not. What you probably signed up for was, hey, start your own business, helping people get healthy and fit, helping yourself get healthy and fit, right? That's the foundation of our business. And so you can't discount these people for not wanting to work the business because they're the, bare, like they're the foundational reason of why you started coaching. So they have their own important role. Hobby coaches can be kind of similar to that in the fact that they may be active, they may be not, but they're gonna do a little more than a discount coach, right? You might have hobby coaches that are going to earn just enough to cover their shapeology. You might have hobby coaches that just wanna sign up a family member or a friend every once in a while. <clears throat> The hobby coaches are the dabblers. They're the people that might show up in the team group and then they check out for two months and then they come back and then they check out for two months. So the people that just aren't super consistent, they aren't hitting success club consistently, they aren't growing their team, they aren't helping a ton of other people get started on their health and fitness journey. Um, and they're the people where you're not going to spend and pour a ton of your time into when it comes to mentoring, right? So if we're taking notes, if you're listening to this, and this is you, we might need to wake up a little bit, right? <laughs> we might need to prove ourselves that we are consistent with hitting success club, that we do deserve the time from our mentors, right? Because as a, as a business owner, you're going to pour your heart and soul and your time and your energy and all of your heart and effort into the people that prove that they deserve the runners, the people that want to just crush it, right? Not the dabblers. The dabblers have a part and you love them through their journey, but they're not going to be the people that you pour all of your time into because they're not moving forward, right? But again, they play a, pur a purpose and they're going to come from either your challenge group, again, with the discount coach kind of thing, or these are people that have kind of watched you on social media a little bit. And they're like, I don't know what this girl does, but it looks kind of interesting and I'm going to test it out. So these are people that 
are a little weary of <laughs> what you're doing, but are interested enough to give it a shot. Now, if you're finding yourself signing up more of those people than you're finding signing up many years, we might have a social media issue in terms of how you're putting yourself out there. Those people are completely understanding um, what it is that you do and how you do it and how they can do it too. They're just understanding it enough that they might want to give it a shot, but don't think it's for them. So they never fully put in both feet. They just kind of dip their toe in and it never goes any further than that. So that's kind of where hobby coaches fall. And you can easily take a hobby coach and create them and encourage them and love them through their journey, whether it's health and fitness or whether it's starting a business little and create them into a working coach that has a passion because most of the time it just needs to be fueled, right? You just have to love them through it. A lot of times I find it's, they need a little encouragement. They need a little, you know, pick me up um, on how to get to those next places, but they got to prove it first. <laughs> so last group of people that you can work with, so you can work with your discount coaches and those are going to be kind of like safety nets, if you will, because they'll be active and active. Same thing with hobby coaches, but it's going to be a little more active than your discount coaches. And then the last group, what everybody dreams to find, right, is the working coaches, the coaches that want to run with you, the people that are just like you, right? That's your dream, is that you could just find like a mini you. Like my biggest thing is like, oh my gosh, like I wish I could find a little fiery, super resourceful, doesn't ask any questions, like self-motivated little rock star that has no, no background in beach body, but just wants to freaking crush a business, right? That was me. And so, I hope that that's what I attract. And for a long time, I wasn't attracting that. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why. And it was because on social media, you have to make sure that you are being true to yourself and you are being true to what you want to see on your team. Like if you want to find a mini you, you need to be you, if that makes sense. Um, and there's another portion to this. So we have like the social media section and then the actual, like I say, onboarding section. So. When it comes to working coaches, the first thing you have to do is get them in the door. The only way you can get them in the door is your social media. And if you're not utilizing Instagram stories, Facebook stories, any kind of video, posts are awesome. But posts are not personal. Video is personal. And it took a long time to kind of figure that out. But once you can kind of really get comfortable on your Instagram stories or on your Facebook stories, wherever you I don't know, have your forte. I'm totally Instagram. So if I just talk about Instagram, that's why. Um, but people can actually feel your energy. They can feel your conviction. They can feel your passion. So they can feel that you're a real person, right? If you were to just see someone that you've only seen pictures of in person versus see someone that you've like stalked their videos. So a perfect example would be if I saw some random person that I liked their pictures on social media versus if I saw Whitney Simmons who I creep her YouTube channel, like hardcore in person, I would feel like I knew Whitney Simmons. I could walk up and be like, hey girl, like we're best friends, right? Because that video connection that you have with them, because they can feel your emotion and they can see you, you feel like you know that person. And that trust level is so much higher than with someone you've never heard speak. You've never heard their voice. You've never heard their passion. You've never heard anything. And they're just kind of reading. Like nowadays, that's no different than just like reading an email. You know, emails can be sketchy, text messages can be sketchy, you know, like it can be hard to figure out the true intent behind someone's words when it's just typed out. But there's no like getting around video. <laughs> video makes you close to people. Video makes you people's friends. So if you're utilizing your social media to get your message out there like this so they can feel you and they can get excited and they can be like, I want to be her friend or I want to work out with her or I want to join her team or I want to work like she's working. I want the freedom that she has because she sounds like she's having a blast. It's much better construed this way than it is typed out, if that makes sense. So that's the first way you kind of use your social media to get people in the door, whether that's talking about it, whether that's posting call to actions, whether that's your personal invites, however that is for you. Um, that's going to get people in the door to create working coaches and to find people that are going to work is going to be setting the precedent early in sneak peek groups. So do you guys run coach sneak peeks? I hope yes.
Okay, cool. Um, so sneak peek groups are going to change your life. If you're not utilizing them, please utilize them. And if you haven't started your own, give it a shot. Because again, it's the you that people want to work with. They want to hear you, they can see you, they want to interact with you. Um, so test it out. I promise it's not as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, but if you have a team sneak peek group, utilize that too. Um, but what I learned very quickly on how to really bring in strong working coaches that were just like me was to set my expectations in the sneak peek group so that people knew what the heck they were getting into. You don't want to sugarcoat things. You don't want to like fluff things up for a while. I was just so excited about coaching that I left out a lot of important information that I was just excited and I made it sound amazing, which it is. However, what I was forgetting to mention was a lot of the hard work that goes into it, if that makes sense. A lot of the hard stuff. And so people would sign up and they'd get all excited. And then all of a sudden they'd be like, oh, I have to invite or oh, I have to hit success club or oh, I have to do this. Like, and it would catch them very far. They get discouraged and then it would just pew, down from there, right? How many of you guys have either experienced that yourself or you've seen it in your team? Yeah, exactly. So what I learned was when I'm in my sneak peeks, how about setting that precedent right out of the game? So I get in sneak peeks, I do videos. So they can see me, they can hear me, <clears throat> but I address all those things right in the sneak peek. I talk about success club. I talk about the four bottle behaviors. Why? Because they're the foundation of the business. So the first thing we talk about is what is coaching? What does a coach do? We use the four vital behaviors every single day to wrap our to-do list around. I go over each of the four vital behaviors. So it's not like something new to them if they sign up when they start coach training. They're like, oh, I've heard this before. Oh, this makes sense. Oh, she talked about we have to invite. I know what an invite is. Oh, she talked about we have to do personal development. That makes sense. It's not some cuckoo crazy thing I have to listen to, right? <laughs> They're like addressing those things ahead of time. I talk about our job every single month is a hit success club, no matter what, because you sign up as a coach to change lives. And if you're not changing lives, you're not doing your job, right? We talk about that right there in the sneak peek. So then when they get into a new coach training or they get onto the team, they know, oh, success club. I know that's expected of me. I know that that's what we're supposed to do. I know it means we're changing lives. I know it means I'm doing my job. It's not something new. And so if you set those expectations early, you're going to find a lot more people that are like, okay, like I can do this because they understand beforehand what they're getting into. So they will be much more successful when they actually start. It will also weed out the people that aren't hard workers so you don't have to go through the heartache of having someone be super excited and be like, oh, I have to like post on social media like all day in my stories or I have to make sure I post consistently pretty pictures and no money. Right? <laughs> it's so frustrating when that happens. But if you're transparent and you're upfront, you don't have to go over every single detail and book about coaching, but they do need to know the foundation of what they're getting into. Um, and I really have found that addressing the four body behaviors, addressing success club and addressing social media in a sneak peek really brings in the people that are going to do that, right? <laughs> and so that's kind of how our team builds a, I don't know, team of all three pieces and all three pieces and why they're important and all that. <laughs> so I didn't see any. Okay, I know, so, yeah, I'm trying to pop that up. We had, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to chat them in. I took, like, so many notes. That was awesome. Um, I love that, like, idea of the graphic for the challenge group because I've always done, like, one that has, you know, like, the discount versus not discount, but not just, like, showing the discount in two different ways. So I think that's really cool. And then um, – I'm trying to look. I know that we had some questions earlier that girls asked in the um, in our chat thread. So I was trying to see that in like the team page. But um, if you guys have any questions, like feel free to unmute yourself or um, chat it in while I look for this. So it's not just like awkwardly silent. You <laughs> sign everyone up as a customer. Uh, or do you offer the discount before signing a share card? I personally always sign everyone up as a customer unless there's someone um, that has been in a sneak peek and they, they know, or I know them personally and I'm like, girlfriend, like you're better off just being a coach that I can actually say that and it's not going to like offend them. Like my close friends and family members are discount coaches, but strangers on social media, people that I 
um, bring into my network, I do always sign up with those customers and then I give them the option to convert after their first month. Okay. I mean, you're thinking like business wise, that's like double success club points. <laughs> Not that that's like the only thing to do, but there's people that aren't going to want to do it. So there's no reason to, or, or they get offended when they have that $15 fee come through that first time if they weren't already on board. Um, so for me, I just started my office customers and then give them the option. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think, you know, everyone does it differently and it doesn't really matter whatever way you want to do it. Um, I, I know when I was like building and trying to get to Diamond, I signed up people as discount coaches because I wanted to get to Diamond. Um, and then after I was a stable diamond and I didn't really need all those like discount coaches to keep me active, then I would sign people as a customer and I would try to switch them over as a coach. But if you're just trying to get to diamond, like absolutely utilize that, um, you know, option to have them sign up as discount coaches to get yourself there. And then, you know, from there, then you can decide if you want to keep signing people up from the discount or if you want to sign them up as a customer and then try to switch them over. Um, I mean, I'm sure you agree. Like it's, yeah. Oh well, yeah, for sure. And I'm still kind of under the impression that like hit back with your friends and family, like they should be discount with eight people in your close network that you can work with. I promise you there is. <laughs> I've been doing this for four years and I've never really had someone after we've talked it through not have eight people in their close network that they can work with. So yes, I would say when you're going for diamond, you're utilizing that warm network hard and that's going to be a discount coach. Because it is, I mean, it's the best option for them. Like why would you want them to, to waste money, right? Especially if you know them on a personal level. You could be like, girlfriend, no, like do a discount. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at. So we had a question earlier from someone about. Oh wait, is there one in the chat now? Oh no, it's the same. Okay. Um, I know I had a question earlier from someone who was a diamond and then has since then like dropped diamond and just felt like. I mean, we've all gone through this. I know you have too. Where you are you get you maybe get to diamond and then you're like okay i'm here but i really want to start like building a team and like duplicating that down and where about that place where like people say they're gonna work you know and we kind of talked about this like setting those expectations up front but just creating that culture of where people are actually working and not just saying they're a working coach you know what i mean like that difference there um, and just how to, I guess, how to, how to deal with that or how to, I personally think that, um, a big part of it does come from social media and like, how much are you sharing about coaching and like all of the aspects of it? Because I think that you don't attract coaches if you don't talk about coaching, you know, whatever you talk about is what you attract. And then, um, I would say too, like you said, just setting that expectation up front and so are you talking about on your social media all the fun things and like not what it takes to really do it um or are you sharing those hard things about coaching but i don't know if you have any more like two cents on that area when it comes to like continuing to build like especially if you like hit your rank and dropped and maybe you're like a back and forth kind of person again happens um but what you need to kind of focus on is always moving forward. It is a sheer numbers game when it comes to finding working, like when you find your like mini you, it is a sheer numbers game. Um, because you, like the statistics are about like one in 20 coaches are gonna like run, right? So if you're not someone who's recruiting around 20 coaches in a time frame, you can't expect to find like that one superstar. There's not, that's not to say there aren't going to be working coaches in that group of 20, but I'm saying for the people that you're like, oh, I just want to, I wish I could find a mini me. You've got to just up 10X your activities, right? And that'll honestly get you out of a funk. 
we've all been in funks before. We've all been in this place where you're like, I feel like I can't, like I'm not moving forward. I don't know what to do. I've been doing what used to work. Now it's not working. And just being able to 10X what you're doing will bring in enough new blood and new energy and helps you kind of create new ideas. It just, it really gets all the gears flowing. Um, so if you ever find yourself in a funk, like 10X what you're doing. And I promise not only are you going to be bringing in more contacts, you're going to be growing your network more, you're going to be bringing in more opportunity for people to join your team or join your challenge group, but you will get the gears blowing on like, okay, this is what I was doing. This wasn't working. Now that I've done it a bunch of times, I'm actually seeing why it wasn't working. Here's what I can do now. It really just kind of gets your creative juice flowing. Um, and it'll kind of help you get out of that plateau, if you will. Um, it's not necessarily, you can't ever make someone work who doesn't want to work. You can't ever do something for them. They have to want to do it for themselves. Um, I think really digging into their why, that's another thing that we that I do in my sneak peeks is like day one is like what is a coach day two is what fuels your fire because there's going to be times in this business where it's hard being an entrepreneur is hard getting through your invites is hard getting through your inbox is hard there are times where you're at like a Tuesday night and you're like I just rather watch Netflix and you can't just get yourself off the couch to do it if you have a why that it's big enough to conquer that then you're going to. It's got to be something that's deeper than just helping people, right? Because everyone in the health and fitness world got into the health and fitness world to help people. You're no different than anyone else if that's your only underlying goal. You have to have something else that fuels your fire that makes you do the things that you don't want because it's necessary to move forward, that you're going to move your business forward, that you're going to be one step closer to that big goal that you're pushing for. And so helping them really harness in on that again before they even come in so that you can remind them when things get tough um, and when things get hard and sometimes you can remind yourself when things get hard um, what that big goal is it's so much more i mean obviously changing lives yes 100 percent. if you didn't want to change lives you wouldn't be here um, but it's, it's got to be more than that i don't care if it's something as simple as you want laser hair removal on your entire body you can't afford it right now <laughs> and so you want to push to be able to afford that or if it's something as big as what like what i had you know, when I started coaching, I guess I should have given that like a little bit of a preface before I, I started. So like I, up until July of last year, always worked completely full time. Like, I mean, when I say full time, I mean anywhere from 40 to like 85 hours a week in very demanding corporate jobs. Always. I was a grad student at when I first started coaching, I went to a CPA firm, was working 80 plus hours a week, plus travel. Sometimes my log time was like 120 hours. I had to keep track of every six minutes of my day. So I couldn't do my business during work. It was very difficult to balance that. However, I always had in my head that when the time came, I wanted to be able to stay home with our kids. And I wanted my husband to be able to stay home with our kids. And that was the forefront of everything that I did. When things got hard, when I felt like giving up, when I didn't want to do it anymore, when it was overwhelming, when I was too busy, when I didn't have time, that was it. And you have to kind of like identify that fire for them to kind of keep them going and to keep them motivated. And some people just can't harness in on that and they don't have that. And that's how you know coaching is just maybe not for them. You can't make people do something that they're not fueled to do. Yeah. And I think that's one of the biggest things that you have to like learn from the beginning is you can't pull people. And, you know, it's really hard because there's going to be lots of people that come in and say they want it, that say they, you know, want X, Y, Z, and they have these big goals and they're going to work hard and whatnot. And they might even put in some of the work and do the things, but ultimately like it's up to them. And the more that you waste like your time and energy pulling people that aren't actually putting in the work or doing the things, there's other people out there that you could have been talking to that are that do want to work and are going to put in the work and it will drain you so much um when you do try to pull people and i i mean i know i think pretty much everyone goes through that at some point where you kind of have to learn the hard way like okay yeah that's not working like i can't just make people work they're going to do it or they're not and sometimes you're going to believe in people more than they're going to believe in themselves most of the time actually um you know and so i think just accepting that from the beginning and knowing that you have to watch people's feet. Like you have to watch where they go, not what they say, because it's really easy. Like how many times have you guys said you're going to do something and then didn't follow through? Like 
that's humans. It happens. So you need to watch like where people are going and run with the runners and just keep recruiting more people. And it's like I say, you know, you have a, it's like your business is like a bucket and you're filling that bucket and there's a hole in the bottom. And so it's flowing out as you're filling it in. So you have to be adding more people than are falling out of your bucket. And what I see happen all the time is people come in and they're like, so pumped or so this or whatever. And they're filling the bucket, filling their bucket, filling the bucket. And then they're like, okay, cool. Filled my bucket. I'm going to chill. Like I hit diamond or I hit emerald or whatever. And then they just want to sit there and work with the people that are in the bucket, even though there's a hole in the bottom. And some of those people are falling out and now they have to recreate the momentum. They have to do twice the work. They have to add twice the amount of people so as long as you just consistently grow, and I know that a lot of you guys have like, and you can maybe speak on this too, that fear of leadership and like, okay, even if I do recruit a working coach, how do I know how to lead them? Especially if I'm new or whatever, but I think the best way to lead is to lead by example. And the more fired up you are, the more fired up your coaches are going to be. So when you you know, your bucket is emptying, you have to be adding and adding and adding. And when you're doing that, they're going to see that and they're going to follow your lead. But if they see you add them into your bucket and then chill there, that's not going to make them want to work hard and go after things, you know? So you have to lead by example and speed of the leader, speed of the pack. You know, you should always be leading the leaderboards. You should be the ones, you know, hitting success club 20 and above if you want your coaches to even be in success club. So I find like that's what's helped me, um, you know, with my coaches following my lead is you can't expect someone to do something you're not doing. So if you come in and you're trying to push for diamond and you want your coaches to get to Emerald, but you're not hitting Emerald every week, you're not recruiting two coaches, it's not going to happen. So I think gut check yourself, make sure you're at the front all the time and the best, you know, just like anything else you got to fake it till you make it and you're going to become a leader when you step into it and when you decide that you're capable and you just do it you know you start showing up in the team page you ask how you can help with groups or you know running a team call or you start running if you have a few people you start a team call or you start you know being a leader in the challenge group you step into that leadership position because otherwise like you're never going to learn and I, I mean that's how I feel, but maybe you have another two cents on that leadership aspect. No, I 125% agree. A speed of leader is a speed of pack, and I whole, wholeheartedly um, believe that your team is only going to do maybe half, maybe if you're lucky, what you do. And so, like as you said, if you're wanting to hit diamond, but you're not adding two every week, if you're not hitting emerald every week to share coaches what's possible on your team, how are they supposed to believe that they can do it if you're not doing it? It's all about belief. And so when you can set that case and you can set it really high, then they're going to set their own like goals and pace higher than what they would have if you're kind of falling short. Um, the other thing I think I can just speak to because I know what your like entire team like upline wise is, is have trust. Like you guys are part of one of the biggest, most successful teams in beach body have trust that even though you might not have a freaking clue what you're doing everyone else in your team does and yeah you have the resources to be successful and your team will have the resources to be successful and you can lean on that until you're comfortable and confident in what you're doing but know that there's no excuse for not only yourself but your team to not find success because of the team that you're a part of be so super grateful that you're a part of such a powerhouse of a team um, in the network that you have all the resources to be successful and that you can give those to your team without even having to blink about it, right? You guys are so, so blessed for that purpose. Um, keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, you know, people say all the time, like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed. Like, there's all this training, there's all these things, but I think that you need to switch that and look at that as a blessing. Like it is such a blessing that you have all these trains, all these resources, all these groups for you, everything at your fingertips instead of being overwhelmed of not even knowing where to start because you have nothing. You have like a good overwhelm of, wow, there's so many resources. There's so much here for me. 
And I think that is such an incredible thing. Like, don't take that for granted because there's a lot of teams that don't have any training. They don't have groups. They don't have any resources. They have nothing. And if they can figure it out, then, you know, don't let that be your excuse. Don't let that hold you back. Um, and then there's one more question about um, the cold market and – she said, how do you deal with the cold market? I feel like that's harder for me. Um, Paige, do you want to unmute yourself and like explain what you're meaning by that? Yeah, it's kind of loud in my house. Sorry, that's why I have it on mute. Um, like on social media, reaching out to, you know, people that you don't actually have a connection with, but people that are watching your videos and um, commenting on your posts or liking your posts. Like, I know... I guess how to reach out to them, but I feel like I'm, I don't know. I guess I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Does that make sense? Yeah. Are you referring to coach, like reaching out to them about coaching or just like in general or in general, like about the boot camps and getting them to join those? Oh, you're muted, Taylor. Okay, I got you, girl. <laughs> so I was a personal trainer before I started beach body coaching. I had zero interest in beach body programs. I had zero experience with beach body programs, other than the fact that my high school volleyball coach made us do P90X every single summer, and I hated it to my core. That was my experience with beach body, right? And then every time I saw it on social media, I would throw over my mouth. When I saw people post like 20 minute fix graphics and all that jazz, like it was just such a turn off to me. So those of you who have ever talked to someone like that, I was that person. And we finished top 50 last year as a team. So <laughs> there it is a possibility to help someone that has that kind of mindset. And I know that when I'm speaking to people, it's exactly what I'm attracting. I'm attracting the people who have no interest in Beach Friday, which is why if you go to my social media, there's not one thing on there that they could identify me as Beach Friday with because I know my market is people that aren't interested in that. Because I kind of focus on being a health and fitness coach that uses Beach Friday as a tool to change lives, right? I'm a health and fitness coach. I don't identify as a Beach Friday coach um, because I know that's who I'm attracting. So, anyway, what I can tell you from being a personal trainer and now being a health and fitness coach and uses beach body is that we have the total package and that you need to talk with some serious conviction and excitement when you are talking to people because you cannot get what we have to offer anywhere else for anywhere close to the price and help people find the success okay so when you're a personal trainer one you have to work in the gym it doesn't matter where you are you have to either rent a space in the gym you have to be employed by the gym you have to go to the gym which means you will have to have a gym membership right in my area, the cheapest gym membership is $20 a month, and that just lets you walk into the door. $240 a year to darken the doors of the gym. Okay, so right there, we're already more expensive than our basic challenge pack. And that's no workout plan, no meal plan, no supplements, no coaching, no support, nothing, right? After that, if I wanted to work with, so I was actually going to work at UFIT, our, it was $70 an hour to work with a personal trainer at UFIT, okay? So if somebody works for one hour a day with, once a week, you know, they're already at $210 a month just to work with a personal trainer three times. Like there's so much more that goes into personal training in terms of cost than what we have to offer someone. Not only do we have the best programs written by the best super trainers in the whole freaking world, we have the meal plans to go with it and they get the workouts in the meal plans. Not only that, because if you get the basic package, we throw in a free supplement for you to try for a month and if you like it, you can keep getting it for 25% off. Not only that, is they have someone to encourage them and cheer them on the entire time and to coach them through the program because you guys have done the programs. Therefore, you know how to coach them through it. And they get a community on top of that. So you have this like massive, amazing, super awesome package to help someone with. And it is so much cheaper than reality. And I think a lot of people don't realize that is that you have such a huge gift to be offering people. And so when you're talking to your cold market and you're talking to those people, just speak with that kind of conviction. They're watching you. So if you're talk, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing on social media in terms of being yourself and talking about your challenge group and talking about the coaching opportunity in the ways that fit what you're trying to attract, 
they kind of have an idea of what's going on. So when you go into the backside of it and you start those conversations, you can speak with all sorts of excitement and conviction, even if they have a little bit of interest. Like you can say, you know, hey girl, I saw you like my book camp post the other day. Just wanted to reach out to see if you were sharing some love or if you were interested in working out with us. Like we've been doing this blah, blah, blah. And so many people, or these people have lost this much weight and I'm feeling awesome and blah, blah, blah. Like, you can just be excited and know that what you have to offer is better than anything else on the market. There's nothing that compares to what we have to offer. And you can speak with that confidence. Like, I, I know that I have the offer. I talk a lot more. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally agree. And I think that once you see the value in it and, you know, once you really dive into the programs yourself and get results and feel amazing from it, it's natural, to, you know, to share and, um, you it won't feel like you know you are trying to trying to get people or whatever like that is never what i'm doing when i'm talking to people it's like genuinely me wanting to help people um and i just think that that will come as you do more more programs and as you get more comfortable like you will begin to feel more confident um when you're talking to people but i think especially with the people that you don't know you know that's why like taylor said that power of video is so important because they're gonna get to know you through your stories like are you getting on your stories and are you just posting your workout clips and a few like random you know maybe your shake or what you're eating or like some pictures or are you getting on there and like talking to them like it's your best friend like i tell them i told them the other day on my stories about how I was like being, I had a total blonde moment and I was trying to blend the soup in the blender for like five minutes without the blade in the blender. Like I felt like such an idiot. And then I, I talked about it on my stories. It was like, oh my God, you guys, I just had the most blonde moment. And I got so many messages from people like that was so relatable. Like, oh my God, I would do something like this, like all things like that, you know? And yes, like that's not like yeah it's embarrassing whatever but i don't care like that's real life like stuff like that happens all the time i got on my stories the other day and i was like keeping it real and i was like bearing my mustache you guys like just be real <laughs> and people people were like oh my god thank you for sharing that like what what kind of narrative do you use like asking me all these questions and i'm like or this one girl was like hey like thank you i appreciate you being real because like that's real life you know um so just that's how people are going to get to know you and trust you. And when people like, know, and trust you, then it's not going to feel weird and you're going to have a relationship with them. Um, so, you know, just be real, be yourself and get on there and talk to people like you would your best friend, like tell them what something funny that happened today. Just tell them what you're doing today. Tell them how work is, tell them like anything, just be real and be you. And I think that makes that connection so much bigger. So then when you do, go talk to those people that you don't know yet they're going to get to know you through your stories and through you connecting because that's one of the vitals in our business so you should be liking and commenting on their posts i love responding to people's stories i think it's a great way to connect um so i'll respond to people's stories and that kind of builds connection and we'll start a random conversation about my nair and then eventually later maybe they'll like a post or whatever and i'll invite them so i think that um is kind of my like two cents on that um okay cool is there any other last minute questions no okay well i want to take a let's do a boomerang this time so if your camera is not on you should put it on for a second so we can boomerang brianne carson okay <laughs> call people out <laughs> oh you're ruining the boomerang <laughs> okay it's all right ready one two three okay cute i saved it okay well um have a great rest of your night guys and we have the juvo call like right after this in like three minutes so if you guys want to hop on i'll post the link in um our team page but thank you guys so so much for showing up and thank you taylor that was amazing i took so many notes and i know a bunch of people are waiting to hear the recording um so i will be sure to post it everyone's like blowing up thanking you in the chat so um have a great rest of your night girls and i'll see you later
Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.